Welcome to Brush and Overlay Cafe. Today, I'll show you what to do if Generative Fill refuses to generate your image or if it generates the image but then covers it up. If you've been using Generative Fill for a while now, you've almost certainly run into this little problem. Photoshop has set Generative Fill guidelines that will prohibit anything deemed inappropriate. So when you try to generate an image, you might get this warning or something similar about the guidelines, or maybe Photoshop will generate the image, but then cover it up. And unfortunately, this is likely to happen to you even if you're just trying to generate something perfectly innocent. Thankfully, there's an easy solution. Here, I'm just trying to expand to more of a head and shoulders crop, and Generative Fill did allow it, but you can see the area in question is covered up. But if you take a look at the layer, and by the way, you can toggle the mask on and off by holding down Shift as you click on the mask. Photoshop has simply masked this area off. So the solution is as simple as just getting rid of the mask. Now here, I just toggled it off, but go ahead and delete that mask and that's problem solved. Now let's talk about what to do if you get the dreaded guidelines violation error. This simple solution is compliments of Unmeshed Dinda. It's genius because it's so simple. Once again, I just want to generate the rest of the top of her body. So this time, instead of just simply clicking on generate, I'm actually going to type in a period. And then just to help things out a little bit, I'll type in black dress. Typing in that period was key. It caused Generative Fill to bypass any user guideline violation and just generate the image. You don't even have to type in anything. Last time I typed in black dress. This time I'll just type in a period. That's all I need to do and then click generate. I was still given three options and once again I wasn't blocked due to user guidelines. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.